So the legal fate of a celebrated American general is now resting at the very top of the Justice Department. David Petraeus, the former director of the CIA who previously led the surge in Iraq, is accused of giving classified information to his mistress while, he was writing his, while she was writing his biography. Now, Attorney General Eric Holder says he or his successor will decide if felony charges are to be filed. It's hard to say. I mean, in terms of timing, um, I will be in office until my successor um, is, is confirmed. But I would expect that uh, to the extent that uh, there is a matter of this magnitude, um, that would be decided at the highest levels of the Justice Department. Well, there you go. Judge Andrew Napolitano is our Fox News senior judicial analyst. Judge, welcome. What do you think about this? Well, the highest levels of the Justice Department is the person you you just ran. It's Eric Holder himself. I, I think he's probably irritated that this was leaked to the New York Times, and he wanted to be able to make the decision without any public pressure. But obviously, a decision of this magnitude to prosecute someone of General Petraeus' standing could only be made by the Attorney General himself or even the President. Now, on on, on the propriety of the prosecution. There were three levels of national security clearance. David Petraeus had the highest level. We don't know what these documents are. We don't know how secure they were. Uh, we also know that Mrs. Broadwell, his uh, friend, mistress, whatever you want to call her, had her own level of national security clearance. Um, but we do know this. For 600 years, the definition in, in England and the U.S. of crime had an element of harm. If they don't harm anybody, there's no crime. If there's no harm here, if, if the documents were given from one person with a security clearance to another, yeah. both American patriots, neither going to reveal those documents to someone that would harm Americans or American interests. No harm, no foul. Why prosecute him? Good question. Good question. And, and they have left this hanging over David Petraeus's head for a long time. I don't know why they wouldn't have been able to have dealt with this situation, yay or nay, by now, when you consider what they're dealing with here. It raises so many questions about the motivation uh, that they might have against this man. Well, and it's also irked a lot of people in Congress, as you know, Senator McCain, Senator Feinstein, uh, and, and some of the others yeah, are play, wondering me, Joe, why do this. Let's play this piece of sound. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, from Diane Feinstein uh, from yesterday. Listen to this, folks. Let me say what I think. This man has suffered enough, in my view. Uh, he's the four-star general of our generation. Um, I saw him in Iraq. He put together the Army Field Manual. He put together the awakening and how it worked out. He, I think, is a very brilliant man. <laughs> People aren't perfect. He made a mistake. Uh, he lost his job. What she seems to be saying at the top of that is what I'm hearing from a lot of people. And that is, this is a person of unique capability. And, and, you know, just to look at the broader picture here for a moment, Judge, when you look at what's going on in the world and people asking themselves the question, who could lead us? Who could handle this kind of situation that we're under right now? I think his is a name that comes up to a lot of people. This is the type of thing that the Justice Department is supposed to take into account when it decides whether to prosecute someone. Can they even get a conviction in light of the uh, reputation that Petraeus has and and what he has gone through since he uh, since he left uh, left the military flip side of this is the government prosecutes people for doing this all the time and it is wrong that the government can prosecute people when they can't show any harm but unfortunately that's what the law is today there are four thousand federal criminal statutes and many of them do not require the government to show any harm unfortunately for general petraeus and for the rest of us this is one of them but could you answer the question what takes so long what this is two years i think at it, least it, right it what makes you, which it, documents did he give to her and did it did it breach any any crime it makes you wonder if as as senator feinstein just intimated they are not drawing this out for some uh, inappropriate uh, purpose and quite frankly what, those of us who watch this for a living uh, like i did not even know this was happening until this was leaked to the new york times who, who leaked it to the times and why was it leaked uh, to the times and why is it coming out now where when we are within weeks of one attorney general leaving and a new one coming in. A lot of questions here. Yes. Uh, Judge, thank you very much. You're Good to have you here. Meanwhile.